today's video, I'd just like to share that 94% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So if you are feeling generous, be sure to drop a like and a sub, and let's get right into today's video. Thank you. Howdy, I'm Daxio, and this is Plugged In News. And in today's pin update, we have under pressure, U.S. donates half a billion more COVID-19 vaccine doses to the world, as well as New Zealand lockdown police arrest Kentucky fried chicken smugglers. Yes, let's get right into that. And again, shorter episode today. News, uh, news cycle again hasn't been that good. Um, so this is coming from Routers by Jeff Mason and is under pressure. U.S. donates half billion more COVID-19 vaccine doses to the world. And this goes on to read the United States on Wednesday promised to buy 500 million more COVID-19 vaccine doses to donate to other countries as it comes under increasing pressure to share its supply with the rest of the world. Why, why does the U.S. have to do everything? President Joe Biden made the announcement during a virtual summit aimed at boosting global vaccination rates against the coronavirus and rallying world leaders to do more. To beat the pandemic, here we need to beat it everywhere, Biden said as he kicked off the summit, which included leaders from Britain, Canada, Indonesia, and South Africa, as well as the World Health Organization head Tedros Adhaman Ghebreyesus. I don't know how to pronounce that. The additional vaccines will bring U.S. donations to more than 1.1 billion doses already. So we've already donated 1 billion doses, uh, far short of the 5 billion to 6 billion doses global health experts say is needed uh, by poor countries. Delivery of the new tranche will begin in January. But still, health experts are saying we need to donate 5 to 6 billion. You know how much money... That, that, that cost the U.S. and taxpayers? Unless this is coming right out of Joe's pocket, I, I think we're paying for this. I think taxpayers are paying for this. The additional vaccines will bring U.S. donations to more than 1.1 billion doses. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Or a half a billion. We donated half a billion already. Anyways, goes on to read, uh, they say the planned U.S. Dose donations are welcome but insufficient, and note the Pfizer vaccine is difficult to scale up and to administer in poor countries, which lack sophisticated infrastructure for storing and shipping shots. All I gotta say about that is I don't understand why the U.S. has to do all of this stuff for other countries. And the other countries don't seem to be asking for it, it just seems to be other countries pressuring the u.s to get the u.s to give their stuff away i don't know anyways for the and make sure you ask your doctor about getting vaccinated uh youtube tells me to tell you that so and our last story is coming from breitbart by john hayward and it is new zealand lockdown police arrest kentucky fried chicken smugglers and this is to the point of absolute insanity that it's gotten to. And I'll throw up this picture on the screen right now of this uh, this tweet by Fox 11 Los Angeles. And it's a picture of the police car with all of the KFC on it. Oh no, they got KFC. Anyways, it goes on to read, In one of the strangest scenes from New Zealand's bizarre coronavirus lockdowns, two alleged gang members were busted on Sunday while attempting to smuggle a large quantity of Kentucky Fried Chicken into the lockdown capital of Auckland. The authorities published photos of the tasty contraband spread across the hood of a police car as if they had bagged a prize haul of illegal guns or drugs. Close examination of the police evidence photos revealed at least three buckets of chicken and up to ten tubs of coleslaw and an undisclosed quantity of fries, the Guardian reported. Roughly $70,000 in cash was also confiscated from the chicken runners who were described by police officials as gang associates aged 23 and 30. They were charged with attempting to breach the... They were charged with attempting to breach the level 4 coronavirus lockdown of Auckland. Let me read that again. They were charged with attempting to breach the level 4 coronavirus lockdown of Auckland. Does that not sound dystopian to you? and for attempting to flee from authorities. The smugglers could face up to six months in prison and fines up to $4,000. Police officials hinted on Monday that more charges against the pair could be forthcoming. Possession of Colonel Sanders' secret recipe is not currently illegal in New Zealand, but 
playing chicken with the police is frowned upon. Dystopian, that's all I can say. Absolute crazy. My boys can't even bring in uh, KFC into the city anymore, so... Uh, that's the point that we've gotten to. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub down below, drop a comment, let me know how I'm doing, let me know what I can do to improve, and thanks for staying plugged in. Peace out, crew.